Good morning, everybody. Welcome to date 185. Clicking right along, aren't we? Kind of cloudy today, but it's still humid. Welcome to Florida. It's humid every day here in Florida in the summer. Anyhow, it is like the calm before the storm, right? So we have, I think, 30 days or 29 days now till we leave. And there's this like four week window here where uh, we're wrapping up everything. We're getting all the stuff shipped off, but it's like, it's like, what do I want to say? Calm waters, which um, I seem to be struggling with. Like on the daily, I'm like, blah. So um, I guess I'm in my anticipation to take off and ride Route 66 and do all that is really high. And the fact that I'm building up to that is really slow. And so it is uh, definitely like mentally wearing on me. Like, what can I do? What, what do I need to do? Is everything prepped? Um, you know, what did I forget? Um, all that stuff's running through my head. How do I make this better? Uh, are the maps gonna work? Uh, <laughs> is the bike gonna break? Is the bike not gonna break? Do I, you know, do, you saw it. Do I change tires? Do I not change tires? All that stuff is like constantly in my head, just turning over and over and over and over. And how am I gonna make videos for the next 29 days that people are actually gonna give a crap about? All that stuff, man. It's <laughs> it's driving me a little insane right now. But uh, that being said, it is Wednesday. It is a day to get some work done, and uh, it's time for some coffee. So we'll see you guys in a few. What's up, guys? Whew. Tuesday is over. What is today? Wednesday. Wednesday is over. Holy crap! Wednesday is over. Anyway, I started working a little more in depth today on um, the trailer and the trailer sponsors and all that fun stuff. I'm halfway there. I'm, the trailer is halfway full, um, and the money that I get for the trailer actually pays for wrapping the trailer because, like I've said before, the whole Route 66 thing is not an income thing. It is a pay for itself thing. I'm just hoping I don't have to pull any money out of my bank account to pay for trailer wrapping, any of that kind of stuff. Um, hopefully all of that is covered and uh, I won't have to pull any personal money to make this happen. Because uh, I don't mind creating an event. I don't mind putting the event together, but I certainly don't want to have to pay for the event. <laughs> Who would? Anyway, today... Today's been kind of a strange day. I've had a lot going on in my in my little pea brain about there's just a lot of like negative stuff in the motorcycle world right now. Um, I did a quick video yesterday on, you know, kind of the trend was Harley Davidson and are they going woke? And, uh, you know, I did it. I put it up. It got a lot of reactions and then I regretted putting it up. And um, I'll be honest, why? Um, because it just, it just felt negative, you know, even though I didn't say, you know, yes or no, they are woke or any of that. The, the video I did said, you know, if Harley Davidson goes woke, um, you know, when Bud Light did, everybody like freaked out and they threw all their Bud Light away and, and all that. Um, what are they going to do if they got Harley Davidson tattooed on their arm and Harley Davidson goes woke and they feel that strongly about it? What do they do? And uh, I got a ton of comments that, you know, I was being um, divisive and, uh, you know, and I honestly just posted it because one, it was kind of a hot topic. And two, that's like a genuine question I had. You know, I don't have a Harley Davidson tattoo, but I can imagine if I did and the company did something so horrible that I hated, I wouldn't want that emblem on my body anymore. What would I do? Anyway, um... Between that and then, you know, there's been, unfortunately, like a lot of violence in the motorcycle club community. I'm not going into it. You guys can Google it. You can look it up. I'm sure you've probably heard about it. And um, the more of that stuff goes on, the more I am like, I just want to ride my bike and hang out with my friends and talk motorcycle stuff and see cool places, look at cool bikes. Um... That's what I want my life to be. I don't want any of this other bullshit um, to affect something I love, like riding motorcycles. 
I love that. I love the community of it. I mean, that's why we built Support Bikers, and that's why we have all the groups on Facebook. I want everybody that loves motorcycles, I don't care what brand, um, do we give each other a hard time? Absolutely. freaking lootly um, You know, just like if you drive a Ford or a Chevy or a Jeep or a Dodge or, I mean, it doesn't matter, right? We all have our preferences. And honestly, I don't feel like there's anything wrong with a little good-hearted um, ribbing, right? Um, but then people get offended and then it, it takes a whole like right turn and turns into this whole bad thing. And I don't know what happened to us. Used to, man, the Ford guys could bust on the Chevy guys and the Chevy guys could bust on the Dodge guys. And you know what? We just kind of chuckled and made fun of each other. And Ford was found on road dead and, you know, Chevy would rust away. And uh, we all went on about our, our lives, right? It wasn't that big a deal. Now it's like, I mean, people get like really upset if you say something bad about their Harley or their Honda or their Kawasaki or their Yamaha or their Ducati or, or whatever it may be. And I don't get that. So anyway, um, where was I at? What was my point of this video? My point of this video is I'm going to do my absolute best to avoid everything, everything that happens to be negative in the motorcycle world. I'm going to focus on cool bikes, awesome destinations, awesome rides, um, an awesome biker community that's out there to support each other. And, uh, you know, I get a lot of, I'll do a video and it doesn't matter what the video is on. Um, I could do a video on a blue bike and somebody would say it's a purple bike and somebody would say it's a black bike and then it would start a whole thing, right? Because all of that negativity. And I'm usually not one to take that line down. In other words, if you talk about my wife's dancing or my daughter or anything, I'm going to fire back at you. But you know what? From this day forward, I'm changing that. I'm not going to fire back at you. I'm going to delete you. And what I mean by delete you is I have the option to ban you from my pages, from my groups, um, from my channel, whatever that may be. And that, my friends, is my next step. You know what? You don't have to agree with me. Um, I'm not asking you to. But you can make a comment and make it not negative. But if you want it to be negative and you want to go down that road, I choose not to have that in my life, on my channels, in my groups. Um, I'm choosing the brighter side of everything. So if you can't get on board with that, I completely understand. And, um, you know... I won't be seeing you around, but hopefully um, you can you can go to the brighter side with me, and we can all hang out over there and have a great time and talk about the things we love and uh, the rides we like and the bikes we love and the destinations we go to and the friends we hang out with, and that. That is the biker community side that I want. And when somebody needs help, we help. And, um, you know, we provide what information we can. If we can't help, um, we don't negatively impact that. We just move on. Guys, if you see something on the Internet that you don't like, just scroll on. Um, if you talk about not liking it, then you're adding a negative to it. And uh, nobody wants that. Nobody needs it, especially in this day and time. We need each other to encourage each other, take care of each other, and just enjoy life. Anyway, that's an unusual video for me, I know, but uh, I felt like it needed to be said. I've been thinking about it all day, and I wanted to get it off my chest. And uh, guys, if, if you agree with that, great. If you don't, look, I understand. I'm not asking everybody to agree on everything that I say and do. Um, I'm just telling you where I'm at, and uh, hopefully you'll be there too. Anyway, that's the end. Um, tomorrow's video will be, I don't know, something different, but it won't be this. won't be this heavy. Uh, we'll try to be more lighthearted. But until then, be good, have fun, be safe, and I'll see you tomorrow.